Hi beautiful people, hope you guys are doing fantastic wherever you are in the world. Let's get back on the gypsy train. So Ryan, Gypsy's estranged husband, has made a comeback and he had some very interesting things to say. Now Ryan has been off social media for I think probably one and a half weeks, but he did return and I will leave a link. Conspiracy actually uploaded to her channel where his whole life is up and you can actually go and watch it in its entirety. Now I know a lot of people do not care for Ryan and that's okay. We're all entitled to our own opinions and feelings and everyone's feelings are valid. Gypsy always said that Ryan would come back every week after the episode has aired and he would come and defend himself. Yes. Lifetime has to portray Gypsy in a positive light and unfortunately if you did watch the show Ryan is not portrayed in a very positive light. And in my opinion, he has been used as a scapegoat for Gypsy's bad behavior. And I'm not saying he didn't do things that came across as being sketchy. At the end of the day, Gypsy is the star. And I use that word very, very loosely. It is a show about Gypsy and her story. In his latest life, he did not speak negatively about Gypsy at all. Or go into detail about her pregnancy. He did make it known that he wanted her to have her moment when she announced her pregnancy. And he stated he feels she would be a great mom. And people should not be so nasty. He also did mention that Gypsy was the one that actually proposed to him first when she was in prison. And he also <laughs> made some remark about how he has some stories to tell about Gypsy and him when he went to visit her in prison. How'd I propose? Y'all want to know how I proposed? It's cunning. Uh, <laughs> Gypsy kind of proposed first. That's real talk right there. Gypsy kind of proposed first. And then to make it officially brought a ring in and asked her on the next visit. Because, you know, Gypsy kind of asked me, like, so why don't we just get married? Like, would you? And I was like, I was like, love you. Of course, I'll marry you. And then the next visit, I gave her a ring to do that. Like, that's my relationship. You know, like I would have to like go in depth with our relationship. Now, I remember everything, uh, but I have some stories to tell y'all. Like, God, I have some stories. Good God, I can tell you some crazy stuff. Yeah, stuff. Ah, uh, stuff has happened. Ah. Uh. Stuff has happened, like craziness. Uh, yeah, guys, like I got some crazy stories about my relationship with my ex, like crazy stuff from stuff in the visiting room and stuff over the phone and just craziness, craziness. But we were we were crazy by each other. So, wow. And I mean, it's no surprise because, in my opinion, Gypsy does come across as a highly, highly sexual person. So, at the end of the day, that's no surprise. He also spoke and tried to explain the situation when Gypsy was actually advised by her parole officer to leave social media. And when he came across and said that, tell him that it's revenue. Now, I don't see why Ryan had to explain himself because if you know that Gypsy did not have intentions of finding her job, you would understand why or where Ryan was coming from. And the way people took it like he was being this money-hungry person, no. He was just trying to put it across, have you told him that this is your job, this is how you make money. But people, obviously, that do not like Ryan, will jump on him and find negative in that. And also remember this whole revenue, the $6,000. In the beginning, Gypsy made it come across like Ryan stole the $6,000. And as Ryan said, when he saw the article from TMZ, he actually contacted Gypsy and he told Gypsy, it's in our joint account, you have access to it. But at the end of the day, from the get-go, Gypsy's intention was to make Ryan look like the bad person because of the fucked up shit she was doing. Of course, let's not forget, Gypsy did say when she separated from Ryan and she linked up with her ex-fiance while still being married but just separated, she said that people would get to see Ryan's true colors. And I'm still waiting to see Ryan's true colors. He's not doing anything fucked up. He still, in my opinion, is holding out hope that she would come back. Whereas, all we're getting to see is Gypsy's true colors 
and her family's true colors. He spoke about a weekend when Gypsy went to visit her family. And he did explain that he was disappointed because he so desperately wanted to meet Dylan, who is Gypsy's older brother. And when he did find out that it became a family affair and that Dylan did come over for a barbecue, his feelings were hurt and that's valid. But then you get this part where Gypsy showed her dad this text message from Ryan. Now, look at the text message and look at Gypsy's response. If you've watched the show, you would know Gypsy's tone, Gypsy's demeanor when she's talking to her husband, Ryan. And she would come across and say, oh, baby, you know, it actually reminded me of if anybody knows about Andrea McRae. She also had that nauseating way of saying baby. And that's exactly the way Gypsy did it. And if you read that whole text, she says, baby. And then she says, don't be selfish. And he says, I'm only teasing. But then after, in my opinion, her stepmother got in her ear and is trying to influence her to go back to Ken and to work up some scheme to get rid of Ryan and get back with Ken. She wants her dad to be on the same page with them and uses Ryan as the bad person. This is all just so fucked up. My thing is that what issue do they have with Ryan? Wouldn't you want your child to be somebody that's stable? that can give us stability. Whereas Ken, Ken's not stable. Is Ken even working at this point? You guys can let me know. And talking about Christy, this is what he said about Christy. One thing I will say is I don't get into the drama. Like me and Christy, I thought we had an okay relationship. Like it wasn't, it wasn't as close as her and Ken are, honestly. Uh, but you know, I noticed right away, like, after we got married, Christy would call me and it'd be about drama on the internet about Gypsy. It'd be like, did you see this? Did you see this article? Or what do you think of this? And I didn't get in it. Like, I didn't care enough about the drama because, like, I, I knew my wife. You know what I mean? Like, I didn't want to read negative comments and I didn't want to attack people for being there like that's the freedom of this country is people can say and do what they want and you know but I didn't want to be like always bothered by it so I take it you know she wanted somebody that she could talk to and Ken I guess talk to her about all that stuff because I I didn't you know I'm like Rod in that respect is I, I don't get into that drama and I do my own thing. Now, Ryan also says that when he does look back, he realizes that Gypsy had already checked out from their marriage. And he also confirmed once again, Christy got involved in his marriage. This is the thing that actually got me. He was asked a question if Gypsy loved him. You know, he says he believes that Gypsy did love him. At the end of the day, Ryan needs to realize Gypsy loves nobody else but herself. She cares about nobody else but herself. Let's go back to the finances. Gypsy put out this whole baby registry when she found out or announced that she's pregnant. There was no need for that. She could afford to buy her own stuff for the baby, but she's not going to use her money to buy stuff for the baby. But when she needed to have a nose job done, she paid that money without even flinching. So that should tell you the type of person Gypsy Rose is. At the end of the day, you guys, we all entitled to our own opinions, how we feel about certain people. But I feel Ryan was done wrong. This is the thing that I admired about Ryan, is that he reached out to Rod and told Rod, Put your wife in check. This is what she's doing. She's interfering in my marriage. Unfortunately, and it's sad to say that it looks as though Christy is the one that wears the pants in the house. Unfortunately, it seems as though Rod did not have any way of stopping Christy from doing what she did by getting involved in Gypsy's marriage. 
and this is where we are today with Gypsy saying she's the happiest she's ever been she's with the man that she loves all that bullshit where do you draw the line as I said I'm gonna do a whole separate video about Christy because there's a lot to go over and before I end this there's not one time in this life design disparage disrespect or say anything negative about gypsy he actually told people that he does not condone anybody that speaks or wants to report it to cps or have a child taken away that is absolutely wrong from everything that gypsy has done to him the lies she has spread about him this man is still showing up all the grace under the sun which in my opinion she does not deserve so you guys you can let me know down in the comments what you think about this thank you so much for taking the time and watching this i appreciate each and every one of you have a fantastic weekend please be safe out there be kind to one another and don't forget make good memories bye guys